Welcome back to another episode of Beer, Bacon, and Blues. And hot topic in the sports world coming out today, I guess. Um, Calvin Ridley's suspension for betting on games he was not involved in, but was still technically on the team. Technically, right? He was on, he was the, on the non-injured reserve list. Yeah, he was on an IR yeah. list because he yeah. took a he took like a mental step he, away. A medical 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 medical. Medical. Yeah. yeah, he technically like just. Took but a, so he didn't major. technically retire. Technically, was still on the team. Just was not on the active roster. Not on the active roster, right. and decided to make some bets, either for or against his own team, in the grand total of fifteen hundred dollars, according to him. And I guess what did it come out to that he lost like ten million dollars. Yeah, he lost ten million. Bucks. Well, he yeah. he lost ten million dollars because that was what he was geared to pay next year. Yeah, yeah. So he's it's not that he bet. bet two two million. Million. No, he he, bet, he, he, he no. screwed himself out of ten yeah, million. Yeah, he bet fifteen like hundred. Yeah. No. To now lose ten million dollars for it's, next season. It's one of those things where uh, he said they said the the bet on the actual um, Falcons that he plays. Was for them to win, I believe, right? It was, it was part. It was part of multiple parlays, a parlay, and he but included Falcons the Falcons to winning, win. Yeah. Which, in my yes. opinion, as somebody that's not even on the active roster, which means he's not in the facilities, he's not practicing, he's definitely not on the sidelines during game time or even playing the game. If he bets on a team to win that he's a part of, that team still has to go out and win. It's not like he bet them to lose, and then all of a sudden Matt Ryan goes out there and throws like. Five pick sixes, like yeah. Then you could raise questions of like, are they Did are they running an underground gambling ring and they're throwing games? I say, but like, if you bet points. on your team to win, they still have to go. And, and you're and you're not even playing. And yeah, you can't, you can't control the outcome. Of you're the not game. even in the stadium during game day. Well, he could be there, but but still, but he's, 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 he's not going to be, he's not gonna be in the boxes. Right. Right. he's going to be in. The, he's in no way, in no way, way shape, yeah. or form is he impacting that. Anywhere during game, because like it's even an NFL rule that. Once you hit like a certain time, like when you enter the locker room on game day, you can't like have your cell phone or anything like that. Like there's a certain time where like, you can't have your phone a certain amount of time before the game, and then all the way through the until the end of the game you can't have your phone again. Yeah. So it's not like he could even text people and be like, "Yo, do yeah, this yeah. or something," you know? Throw this down on me. Yeah. yeah. But either way, um, looking at a full year suspension for for gambling. Um, While not on an active roster, yeah. Then, then you turn around and you have people like Ray Rice go out and go and punch the hell. Well, not and only right that, they say now like, there's there's so many other players that are facing. Well, I mean, Ray Rice didn't bounce back from his, but like, well, you got people like, like Kareem, but Josh Gordon. Kareem Hunt did it. I but mean, but you're Ray looking, Rice was involved in a murder investigation where from what I was saying, actually, yeah, Ray Lewis, Lewis was found with the blood of the dead person on him. I say, but they, yeah, and there are like, several other players who are facing. Civil cases and domestic violence and assault battery choice. Just a, a forget, wide range of who it was, but one player even uh, got a DUI manslaughter charge. Henry Ruggs. And he, he missed like a month. What? No, he's. No, no, this happened like back when we were like elementary school. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like this guy got like 38 day jail sentence and he was back. But either way, but there, there have been Fourth several two? cases throughout the NFL where. The the punishment does not seem to fit the crime, you know. And right now, the punishment doesn't fit the crime at all. So in this case, yeah, he's getting he's getting the the death penalty of sport. You know, you're giving him a one year suspension for what should have been, you know, in reality, next to nothing because he wasn't he wasn't affecting the game. He didn't do anything to affect the game. You you know, you're trying to make an example out of somebody. Yeah. And for someone that's minuscule, betting on a game that he has. No involvement and with whatsoever. So the way, the way I see this, though, is the same way they treated Pete Rose in his situation. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a little bit hypocrisy, in, in my opinion, because you, you have a team in Las Vegas, right? You, you've embraced gambling as part of the game. You're even partnered with DraftKings. So, I mean, how can how can you, as, as, an, organization, as an organization, if you, if you want to police the players that are involved in the games, I'm totally cool with that. Right. Players right. and coaches. If, you're all, coaches, if you yeah. are on the sideline or in the booth, you're an you're, 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 you're no if, longer allowed to bet, bet on the game. If you have anything to do with the possible outcome of the game, well, yeah, even, yeah, even though even if you're like practice squad guys and you're out there practicing with the team, 
If you're like, oh, I want to make a bet on my team this week, so I'm going to hurt somebody in practice this week, so they sit out for the game. Yeah. But you can't, you can't even do that. Like, those but, guys can't even bet because, like, no. yeah, the, pra- the practice game. squad guy could know that. He's like, hey, I know that the, our scheme this week's going to – we're going to do, like, exactly. five trick plays to the third string running back that no one's going to bet on. But so I'm going to put over on him getting two touchdowns, and all of a sudden that dude – Bust out two touchdowns. Well, yeah, trip, but, but you like, so it, even if you play the squad guys, don't even. No, yeah, it. nothing, nothing to do with it. It's just this, and this guy was. I mean, he's he's about as removed as you can get, but still be under contract. Yeah, and that was the only really team affiliation that he had was that he's technically still under contract. Yep. Yeah, and it makes no sense. I mean, it, the the rule itself for the NFL is actually anyone that's employed by an organization or the league is not allowed to do gambling. So you literally talking about like, the person giving out tickets at the box office yeah. is a- not allowed. Alexa to do. Yeah. couldn't yeah. Yeah. bet yeah. on Miami Dolphins. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, she could be fired. Yeah. For, for gambling, just in general. In in on during, any, any NFL game, but yeah. just during the season, right? Just during the season. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Just during the season. So I, just, I think I think the rules need to be revisited on that, and. I think, mean, unfortunately, they're making they make, a, they're they, making a statement out of him yeah. because I, from my understanding, this is the first time this has been majorly like something like this has been actually caught. Like someone was caught betting on sports or betting on NFL games while actively under an NFL contract. Yeah. yeah. Or somebody killed a man. So this is essentially back and this is essentially <laughs> like this is essentially like the Pete Rose. Like you know, they found out like at the very end of Pete Rose's career, or whatever, but like. I mean, it was just a man. Yeah, but that was really. He was that was really still technically playing. So the NFL is going to make a, an yeah. example out of him. Yeah. Unfortunately, I hope that Calvin appeals this and gets this taken down. I mean, I mean, even if you six games, eight, half a season, if yeah. you want to. Yeah. yeah. But to say a full like, season after there's been so many other guys who have done more, way more, stuff. Way more way way stuff. Way stuff. And like the, like they he looked it up like I was talking about Dante Stallworth killed somebody while drunk driving. And was back in the league within, I think, a season or two. Thirty days. Thirty days. He's been in jail. But I mean, yeah. What, well, like you said, there's been so many other players just in the last seven years Brandon that have, guy. I mean, have yeah. Off, heard a rape a girl. I mean, you've had yeah, allegedly. like I said, domestic violence charges, assault and battery charges, and these guys are receiving max eight game suspensions. Yeah. Six games. I mean, no, like you got um, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. You got against him. He's yeah. got. 25, I think is the number, of active civil lawsuits of women accusing him of sexual, sexual misconduct, rape, everything across the board. And the NFL has actually not done anything to him yet. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, either way, I think the Calvin Ridley situation is being blown out of the water way more than it yeah. needs to be. Does he deserve a suspension? Sure. Does it need to be a season? Absolutely not. Yeah. So, anyway. I don't even know if the suspension's warranted. <laughs> I mean, he deserves I do deserve a suspension because you still are connected to the team. Like, I'm six to eight games, eight games is about the most I would take. But t- tell him the dude he can't come back for a whole season and then possibly talk about an indefinite suspension. Yeah. That's just ridiculous. So, either way, tell us what you think in our comments. Yeah. Give us a like. Tell us what you think about it. And. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah.